Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Gates, and today we're going to do a video on how to upgrade your Google Pixel device, in this case we're doing it with a Google Pixel 6a, from Android 12 to Android 13. Now, it should be pretty simple. You unlock your smartphone. If you get a notification, you'll see it something like this, where it says, get Android 13 no, now. Uh, but if not, you can go to settings, Scroll down to System, tap on System Update, and if the update is available, it'll show up here. You can refresh or check for updates uh, more frequently if you wish to, but this is the key experience. You get information that a security update is available, and so you can download and install that now. And what this will do is go to Google servers, get the latest version of Android, just be aware of the fact that often it pauses and decides to, to do the upgrade when the system isn't being used. So if your screen is on, it will pause itself. I suggest you just press the resume button at the bottom right of your screen and that will start the download. Obviously the Google Pixel 6a when it came out had Android 12 on it. And not only did it have Android 12, Surprisingly, it only had the June security update on the device, despite us purchasing ours at the end of July. And you'll probably have seen our unboxing and setup videos. This was all on the June update. We're now at the middle of, or closer to the end of, uh, August in 2022, and Android 13 is rolling out globally to Pixel devices. It's good to see that Android 13 is coming to the Google Pixel 6a. Uh, what does Google, the Google update to Android 13 provide you with? Well, apparently there's better app icons for theming so that you can match uh, what you're doing with your wallpaper, the color tones, you can match your icons to that. There is an updated media player with album artwork and fun play bar, playback bar. You can assign different language settings to individual apps. So for example, if you have, if you're a multilingual person and you, for example, communicate with people in a certain country with a particular app, for example, you speak to people in Italy with WhatsApp, you can set that app to Italian if you wish to, rather than it just using your operating system defaults. It's quite a, an interesting setting that I have played around with on the Android 13 beta, but I really want to see that in day-to-day -day use uh, on the Google Pixel 6a, which I am using as a, as a daily device. Now, then there's also more improvements on app notifications, and you can decide what sends you app notifications and when. And then it says, stream your messaging apps directly to your Chromebook. So this is a feature that we will be able to do a demo of with the Chromebook duet from Lenovo. Uh, if you haven't already seen that, we have a video uh, or two on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel where we have unboxed and set up the device. And then we did a long-term review of it. I'm still using it as my daily Chromebook. so. Let's pair it with the Google Pixel 6a and do a demo of that at a later date. If you have any questions about it in advance, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to address that in a future video. And uh, that's about it. I'm going to speed up the next bit of the video and speak to you soon. Hello, so I'm back. And essentially, I've been using my smartphone as normal, uh, spending some time on Twitter, shopping on Amazon, and uh, the upgrade was happening in the background. And just as with normal Android updates with security patches, the optimization of apps happened in the background. Now, I've just got a notification saying that the update is ready. It's been done. So I just need to restart my device and this should take us through 
to the Google Pixel 6a with Android 13 on it. Now, some people refer to Android 13 as the operating system with the sweet dessert name, in this case, tiramisu, but Google are, are officially not using that term any, anymore. They're not using dessert names anymore. They're all grown up. Uh, just like the Fruity Company. So this is Android 13 booting up for the first time on the Google Pixel 6a. I'm seeing a bit of a themed G for Google here. This is actually quite exciting. I haven't even updated my Google Pixel 6 Pro yet. Let's see how long this takes and if there are any noticeable differences as things start. That Google logo is quite noticeable. And it's definitely taking its time. And there we go. I'll just enter my passcode. Okay, so that seems to be the update complete. First, interactions are pretty much the same. The phone is fluid, snappy, responsive, nothing really noticeable here that I hadn't noticed previously. It looks pretty much the same. But if we go into the settings icon, the settings icon is actually at the bottom right here rather than just under the quick settings menu. That's moved. And there seem to be some very minor changes to the setup so we're set up to the android version 13 and the security patch is on the 5th of august 2022 now previously this was uh, june 2022 so great to see that uh, the security patch has been updated and we're there and that we have arguably the, the latest version of android for the google pixel 6a Let's see if there's any other major differences. Nothing that I can notice off the top of my head, just some slightly tweaked interface uh, details here. And if you'd like to see a full walkthrough of Android 13 on the Google Pixel 6a, please let us know in the comments section below. Uh, we'll do our best to, to get back to you on that. But for now, this was the upgrade process. It's now complete. The Google Pixel 6a is running Android 13 for me, so I'm quite happy about that. If you don't already subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube, please do so. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, and pretty much anything we think makes the travel experience better. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.